How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Is there any way that we can be mad at Eddie Goldman for opting out of the 2020 season? And will Bilal Nichols be ready to fill his hole after he opts out of the 2020 season? We are going to be answering these questions and many more today in episode number 60 of Uncut. Welcome back to the show, guys. The Bears have a massive spot to fill at nose tackle after Eddie Goldman opts out of the season following concerns for COVID-19. There have been 19 total players in the NFL that have opted out so far, and we are all pretty sure that this will not be the last bear to opt out. I would like to say we are seven subscribers away from 1.8K, and if you want Bears coverage each and every day of the week, do us a favor and click that red button to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications when we post. And also, if you are returning to the channel, do us a favor and drop a like. I am your host, Chris Malpe, and today I'm joined with my co-host, Jalen McClinton, and also video producer and editor here at Bear Down, Zach Rimbos. How's it going, guys? Going pretty good. Not very surprising news uh, today, so. Yeah, same. Uh, just trying to enjoy the last week I'm in Arizona before I make my way back to Illinois, so I'm doing great. Absolutely. We have some breaking news today out of Hallis Hall. Uh, first and foremost, the, the Bears players are starting to report today, uh, excuse me, tomorrow to Hallis Hall for COVID-19 tests. If they all do pass, they will be able to start practicing and, and doing some ramp-up stuff starting Saturday. But that being said, there is a huge gap at nose tackle, and that's what we have for you guys to break down today. Eddie Goldman has opted out of the 2020 season. He informed the team this morning that he had health concerns related to COVID-19. I, I must say uh, Goldman is someone who has asthma and has had issues with that in the past. But let's just find out what the Bears are missing before we uh, break down some possible replacement options and stuff like that. Goldman has been what I would call probably the most underrated and the anchor of the Bears' front seven for some time now, ever since being a second-round pick out of Florida State in 2015. Started 15 games last year in 2019 with one sack, 20 tackles, two tackles for a loss. Uh, he's been really solid. You know, he obviously also had a safety in 2018. Really an underrated player, a player that we were talking on this podcast about uh, possibly being a pro bowler and really breaking out here. Uh, after he signed a big extension just about a year or two ago. But that being said, he has opted out. So, Zach, I want to start with you. You know, this season's weird. This entire offseason and this year in general, 2020, is weird. And I know I'm not mad. I, I can't bash Eddie at all uh, for just wanting to be safe, to keep his family safe. Is there any way that we can be mad at him for opting out? I don't think there's any way we can be mad whatsoever. Absolutely not. If you look at the general state of the NFL right now, there's not a solidified plan uh, players are asking for a plan uh, to be in effect for them to be able to play football um, and stay healthy. And if you look at the league, uh, especially the NFL, in comparison to other other leagues like the NBA, there's a far more personnel on the field, um, and it's a health concern already. So if you look at these players who are opting out, there's no way that you can be upset with them. They could have health issues. Uh, I'm not sure what Eddie Goldman's specific issue is. Um, Might be the asthma. Concerns. Um, but either way, uh, if you look at this uh, as a Bears fan, you can't be too upset because the NFL isn't in a good place right now. So, uh, you know, hopefully things get turned around here soon. Um, but, I mean, it's a very, not very surprising to me, to be honest. I mean, the only league I'm that confident about right now is, uh, is the NBA, knowing that they're in that bubble. Obviously, you look at professional sports right now. Uh, the UFC has been fine. Uh, professional golf with the PGA has been fine. But looking at the MLB where, where players and teams are still traveling, the Miami Marlins staff and players have 15 cases, and now that team has to sit for two weeks. That being said, I am confident about the NFL. Uh, they have a lot of more time to figure their stuff out. But that being said, uh, this definitely isn't the last Bears player that's going to opt out. But that being said, the Bears will retain his salary and will have to try and make a move. Uh, Jalen, I'm not even going to go to you on that question because honestly, you know, if, if, if you're mad at Goldman, which a, a bit a bit of people were on social media this morning, if you're mad at him for opting out, um, you can go be a fan of another team because, uh, I, you know, I'm going to support him no matter what. I completely understand his decision. So taking a look down the Bears' depth chart, uh, the next real big defensive tackle that the Bears got, obviously Akeem Hicks will be back and healthy in 2020, is Bilal Nichols. 
uh, a former uh, pick out of Delaware who has really shown out since he has arrived in Chicago, actually started in 12 games in 2019, one fumble recovery, two forced fumbles, three sacks, and 27 tackles. He's going to have an incredible chance to succeed here in Chicago in 2020 as long as the Bears don't pick up some sort of a replacement, and we're going to discuss a couple guys later on. But that being said, Jalen, do you think that Bilal Nichols is ready to step up to the plate and uh, fill in for, for Eddie Goldman on a front seven that's still looking very scary? Uh, I, I definitely think he has the potential to. Um, in his rookie season, he, he had a, he had great production as a, uh, a rotational piece. And then last year he started. Uh, he, he wasn't the best like he was in his rookie season, but he also, also was going through a couple injuries. I think he uh, hurt his hand or something like that. So coming into his third year, um, now that he's going to be the main nose tackle that uh, Eddie opted out this season, um, with this front seven, he's also he's already going to have an opportunity to get more sacks and get more QB hits and, and holes to get to the running back. So I definitely think he can, just not up to Eddie's level, not yet at least. Yeah, uh, I don't think he's going to be anything incredible. That being said, you know, I've wanted Damone Harrison to be able to, or Damone Harrison, that's someone we're going to be talking about down the road, but I've wanted Bilal Nichols to get uh, the opportunity for a while here to be able to show what he's really about. Uh, he's always been there behind, obviously, Eddie Goldman and Akeem Hicks, but I do think he's ready to step up into a bigger role, and I think there's no better time with, with the players that the Bears have in the front seven as long as Khalil Mack, Robert Quinn, Roquan Smith, Danny Trevathan, all of those guys end up playing. Zach, I want to pass it to you. Do you think Bilal Nichols is, is ready for the test that he's about to face? Yeah, our secondary is so deep, and we've talked about this before. I mean, you even saw it last season with Nick Kukowski stepping in. Um, I think that our defense is so good at when people step out, uh, we're able to fill those gaps. And I think Bilal Nichols comes out uh, in his third season, as Jalen mentioned. I think he has a great season, and uh, yeah, I, I think he fills the gap very well for this Bears defense. Absolutely. Uh, just looking at the money that the Bears do save here from Goldman, the Bears will receive a salary cap credit of $7.85 million for the 2020 season, and he has a base salary of $4.75 million and a roster bonus of $3 million. That puts the Bears around $16 million. They are missing a nose tackle. We, we are pretty confident in Bilal Nichols, but I think we can all agree if we could get a veteran replacement maybe for a year or two, that could really help us and, and put us back in a good spot. So taking a look here at some of the defensive tackles still available, one that's been swirling around this morning, uh, Damone Harrison, obviously Snacks recently did play for the Detroit Lions, contemplating retirement, but Ian Rappaport did report that he has offers and is considering coming back. Looking a little bit further down the list, Mike Daniels still available, as well as Timmy Jernigan and Marcel Darius. So I want to ask you, I'm going to start with you, Zach. A lot of those names are intriguing, some grizzled veterans that have been able to do it in the league, and they would be put on a front seven that is looking to be very successful. Do any of these names stand out to you? Do you want to bring in any of these guys? Yeah, I mean, we talked about it in the last episode, and I think we were, we were talking about with these the, the cuts that we made, especially to Adam Shaheen. Um, we could go out and get a veteran player now. Um, and so, I mean, any of those ne- any of those names, sorry, excuse me, uh, would be intriguing to me. Um, I think I agree with you. If we could bring in a veteran, a veteran for maybe one to two years, just somebody signed to a lower deal, um, somebody that could step up and, and potentially bring this front seven to be even scarier, uh, regardless of the drop of Eddie Goldman, I think that uh, that'd be a great move by the Bears. And uh, yeah, hopefully we see that. I, I think that'd be a great spend of our money. Um, just to add more depth to this team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, obviously, we kind of saw the Patriots crumble this morning with Donta Hightower, Marcus Cannon, and Brandon Bolden opting out. Uh, but that being said, you know, Damone Harrison's someone that I look at and I really think could be a useful pickup for the Bears if he would like to play. And I think he would also have the best opportunity to play in a successful defense if he did come to Chicago. He was traded to the Detroit Lions in 2018, had three and a half sacks and 50 tackles there in only nine games. And then last year in 15 games, did slow down a little bit, two sacks and 49 tackles, still had three tackles for a loss and two QB hits. Definitely someone that would be productive on the Bears front seven. So Jalen, I want to pass it to you. Do you think Damone Snacks Harrison or one of those other names I mentioned, like a Timmy Jernigan, like a Marcel Darius, or even someone that we're very familiar with in Chicago with Mike Daniels, uh, would you like to bring any of those guys in, or are you fine with Bilal Nichols and saving the money for next year? I'm fine with Bilal Nichols, but if we did bring in somebody, I would want it to be Snacks Harrison. He's one of the 
uh, before, I guess, um, I don't, he's talking about retiring, and now it's coming out that he don't know if he'll retire or not. He's weighing his options. So if we did, I would want to bring in him. But if if not, then I'll just, I'm fine with Bilal Nicholson keeping the money until next year. Absolutely. Uh, definitely a big hole that has been created in the Bears' defense, but I know that this team will find a way to recover and still be one of the best defensive units in the league. Thank you guys so much for tuning into episode number 60 of Uncut. We discussed Eddie Goldman's upcoming absence from the team, some possible replacements for him, and also talked about Bilal Nichols and his readiness to be able to play if he is called upon this fall. If you want more content from us, you can head over to our website, BearedDown.com. I know we're going to be posting articles in a couple days talking about some possible replacements for Eddie Goldman, whether it be Bilal Nichols or a free agent. And you can also find us on Instagram and Twitter at Bear Down if you would like to follow the podcast on social media. And if you are also on Instagram, you can find the link to me, Jalen, and Zach's social media fan pages down in the description. Those are also some great follows as well. Guys, I'm sure this isn't going to be the last Bears player that opts out. Zach Rimbos, Jalen McClinton. Uh, a little bit of a somber podcast, but that being said, the world is crazy right now. Uh, any last words? Man, stay safe. Hopefully, uh, like I was saying earlier, there's a, there's a more solidified plan coming up in the future um, so that we don't see more players opt out as so long as they can be healthy. Um, but, yeah, stay safe and, and bear down. Yeah, stay with him. Make sure you're keeping your distance and wearing masks outside and stuff like that and bear down. That's about it. Absolutely. Uh, let's hope a vaccine can come on uh, come on, and basically hopefully be mass produced by the end of the year here soon. Uh, I know there's been some positive testing in Oxford, England, and I know the United States just entered phase three on one of their first ever vaccine testing. So let's hope for the best. There is always going to be light at the end of the tunnel. Bears fans, do us a favor. Continue to mask up and stay safe. Stay safe. And as always, bear down. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.